Good morning. It's day five of a week on muscle food. Basil's kicking off again, aren't you? Yes, well. When I actually want him to say something, he doesn't. But then when I don't want him to say something, he does, don't you? Yeah, he's not even looking now. Rude. It's the Basil Show. Thank God. No more eggy goodness for the rest of the week. Just have some of these uh, protein oats left. I'm going to be having original flavour, and I'm super jealous because Grace gets chocolate. Chocolate bloody porridge. What is this madness? But at least uh, I do have something to liven up mine a little bit. A banana. So that's good. Looks good. Let's try it. It's going to be plain, isn't it? Oh, I'm not one. Mm. Good? Yeah. It's not um, very chocolatey. And the chocolate that you can taste is more like sort of cocoa powder. But it is nice. Good. I want to try some. Mm. Oops. Oops. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's good. Not too chocolatey. I'm going to dollop in the Nutella in there, I suppose. Oh, yes. <laughs> Instead, it's banana. Stop looking. Oh, my bloody words. Publication date for my book, February 2019. You can still back it if you want your name in the book. Ah, so excited. I feel pretty knackered today. Been, um... Yeah, not feeling the work so much, but obviously, like, go to work. Work's important. Um, maybe I just need a little bit of energy. In which case, yes, I have another, well, spicy marinated chicken breast on a stick this time. So, I'm going to crack this bad boy open. Yeah, I mean, again, it looks like a dick that's been trodden on, but it smells good. Mm, and it tastes good. Mm. Not as good as the Chinese one, but it's good. Oh, ooh, it's spicy. Hence the name, I suppose. Lives up to the name. Tell you what, if muscle food do anything right, it's their bloody meat, because it's bloody delicious. Um, can't <laughs> praise that high enough, really. Amazing. Um, I wish I could do a week on chicken skewers, uh, those little rice crispy ball things, um, those little pots with the beans and the cheese, and mm, mm, it's making me hungry. Making me really hungry, which is pretty good considering it's lunchtime and I've got a chow mein meal pot. So for the first time, I don't think I've actually got rice, have I? Is this the first time? I don't know. But this one's kind of looking a little bit sad as far as colours go. I mean, the colours are there, but they do look a little bit sad. But let's, um, let's see if I can actually get some noodles. Smells good, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wouldn't go any further than that. A little bit concerned about the colour of that. Oh, my word. What is going on with that chicken? If I... Uh, Ooh, uh. Ooh, uh, indeed. The chicken looks a little bit... Uh, it looks mouldy to me. Crikey. Am I overreacting, commenters? Or does that look like mould? It kind of does. Oh, is it... Let me see, is there some more in here? There's a big piece. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of the way that looks. Ooh. Looks a bit dicey. Batch 18255. Best before end of September 2019 if it's frozen. Hmm. I hope it's just me overreacting. I have taken a picture and sent it to the uh, contact at Muscle Food that I've been speaking to, so I shall update you on that, but i um, feeling a little bit green now, greener than that chicken. So while I wait for some sort of news, because I'll have a uh, very small banana, because I'm set to be hungry today. I'm still hungry. Luckily I've got the known for filling you up snack food popcorn, 
I mean, I could eat an entire bin liner full of this and I'd still be hungry, wouldn't I? Uh, sweet vanilla. Grace had this the other day, but let's give it a try. Popcorn. Wow, that's bizarre. It's like... Like Grace said, it's really powdery. See it my fingers. It's really weird. I mean, it's nice, but the weird powderiness is, yeah, it's odd. Ooh, comes straight off. <laughs> so I'd like to talk to my pal Steve about this new development of um, of suspicious chicken, and it's now twenty to three. And we know that Steve in the brochure said he would be available between two and four every day, but um, looking at the website here. He's in a live Q&A on the 3rd of October at 8pm. So I think they maybe need to redo the little brochure thing that they're sending out because I want to talk to Steve now because uh, my wife's eating moldy chicken potentially and she's going she's gonna to die. She's going to die. And it's all Steve's fault. Hey, you Juno. How you doing? How you doing? Do you want belly rubs? You want belly rubs? Yes. We'll see how we get on tonight. I'm sure it will be fine and it was a one-off. So let's go get some dinner. How are you feeling? I'm alive. You're alive. Yes, um, Grace had the same thing as me today. Mm -hmm. um, you did actually take a picture of it. Yeah. And it looked okay and you're mm -hmm. feeling okay. I'm good, fine. So it's all good. Um, I have now heard back from Muscle Food who have said that this is the first time it's ever happened. So. Looking at their Trustpilot reviews um, generally online, I would be inclined to believe them. It's just, yeah, um, I'm a stickler for chicken after getting sick on yeah, our honeymoon. You're fussy, aren't you? um, so I now like to check food, chicken basically, and um, yeah, they've acknowledged that it don't look right. Um, we're in the process of sorting it out, so I'll let you know how that progresses. But really happy with the customer service so far. These things do happen. Look at the Trustpilot score. It uh, it kind of speaks for it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm not going to hold it against them. So um, I'm just I'm just really hungry. So <laughs> not going to do any exercise today either because I'm already 300 calories down by not eating the chow mein. So um, let's get some dinner because I is hungry. My dinner this evening is going to be chili beef stir fry. Yes, another stir fry. Whereas Grace, on the other hand, I'm having pizza. Is having a tiny pizza. Which um, you're having chicken tikka pizza, which was lovely, to be fair. So, I'm just, yeah, can we get cracking because I'm starving. food. Get it in. Blob. It looks like a heart. It does look like a heart. Break it up, make it more appealing. This smells bloody amazing. And go to veggies next. Oh no, it's got baby corn in it and half a pepper. Oh my god. Who's cutting your peppers, Muscle Food? Get them a new Who's knife. not cutting them? Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells lovely. As I was trying to say, I'm not a massive fan of baby corn, but I will tolerate it. It's a good job I like pepper. Next up, the chili beef seasoning. It smells really actually, smoky. Nice. It does, but it, it, it also, the beef smelled like it was marinated in a bunch yeah, of stuff anyway, so it's going to be full of flavour, this. There we go. So, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, another stir fry, but it does look nice and it smells nice. And you have your pizza. I have my pizza. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. That's really good. You want to try some of this? Yeah. A bit hot. Um, it's a little spicy, but it's not too bad. It's very nice. Mm. A bit stingy on the old chicken front on your pizza. There's a I huge know. bit there. God, it's well spicy, that. Don't eat all your peppers at once, either. Mm. Just there. Not another tiny bit. <laughs> I've got all your peppers in mm. this. You have. It's very tasty, yours. It's mm. very smoky and very spicy, but it's lovely. It is. Uh, maybe corn. Mm. Even makes baby corn taste good. Still hungry. So, evening snack time. For me, barbecue zippers, which is another Muscle Foods own, but... And I'm jealous because I'm really regardless of how nice these may be, oh these can I, I just want to oh I want to destroy them, but um I want to have a. Look how big that is. That is huge, but 
Look at these. They're like little crinkle fries. <laughs> Get here. That's, um, I've never seen any a crisp like that before, really. Very crunchy. Do you want one? Yeah, they're nice. They're really good. Mmm. Oh, they're delicious. You've got them as well for tomorrow yes, or I something. Mmm. Hopefully. Barbecue yeah. Hopefully. It's good. Oh, they're dry, though. <laughs> Hopefully. It's going to fill me up. Why are you always after our things? Hmm? You want to smell a zipper? No, see, you wouldn't like it, would you? Oh, having a good sniff. No, no zipper for Basil. Look at this stupid snake all over his tree. That does not look comfortable. He's been in blue for ages. He needs to hurry up and shed because I think he's miserable. Right. That was an interesting day, wasn't it? Wasn't expecting to be in this position today. It was going really well all week. Really happy with like 99% of the things. Apart from that bloody naked bar. That was awful. But then today, I sit down and have my chow mein. Nice and warm and hot and... Not quite right, shall we say. Um, I'm going to hold off judging the entire Chicken Gate saga for now. Just see where it ends up uh, with regards to sort of muscle food, customer service, that kind of thing. I'll report back as soon as I know. Hopefully I'll be able to tell you by the end of the week. Otherwise I'll do a, a day eight video, but fingers crossed. So, yeah, there's um, it's, it's, I've not had this before in a week on. Um, all of the food is always really good. Those zippers uh, were great. My chicken skewer again. Top mark. So I really don't feel like it would be fair to judge the entire thing on Chicken Gate. Because everything else has been just really good quality. Um, and again, as I said earlier, all you have to do is kind of look at Trustpilot online. They've had like 72,000 reviews and they're all great. It's got like 8.8 .8 out of 10. Which is, yeah, top marks, basically. But, um, yes, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep, wake up and, and start afresh tomorrow. So uh, if you would like to see how I get on and the continuation of Chicken Gate, uh, then please do like the video, please do subscribe. If you want to support the show, you can do on Patreon. You'll get to see Chicken Gate's conclusion early. But either way, if you don't, just hopefully you'll watch the video. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>